windowcleaner.com. Welcome to Window Clean Resource. Today I am going to show you how to replace the clamps on your zero water fed pole. The tools you need are just simply your new clamps, correct? Um, an Allen's wrench, Allen's wrench, and then possibly a vice grip or something just to pull off the clamps in case they're a little bit stuck. But if you loosen them up right, um, they come off very easily. And then just some sort of microfiber towel just to wipe that area that we're gonna put the new clamp back on. First, what I would suggest doing is just taking apart your whole pole piece by piece. And just lay them up here in order against a wall or wherever you're working, just to have them all apart. It's easier that way to take off the, uh, the bolt here. You may have to loosen these a little bit because the ends are a little bit tapered. When taking out, you may find that right at the part that's colored or after the red mark, it just may be a little bit harder to take out. Okay, so now that we have all the pieces separated, what I would suggest doing just to kind of help keep your pole in good condition is just go through, wipe down your sections you can take some sort of um, like rubbing alcohol or something just to clean the pole, just to keep it in good condition. This is something you kind of want to do regularly, at least maybe a couple to a few times a season. Uh, it's about as much as I do it. So here's exactly how I would change the old clamps to the new clamps, okay? So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your Allen's wrench, you're gonna go right in that, right there just untighten there release your clamp you're gonna untighten that okay it's almost loose there I didn't find a need to use vice grips at all to really pull any of these off they all came off pretty simple you're gonna want to twist this a little bit too just release some pressure there what I found best was just to take out the screw and just loosen it up fully for you to make it really, really easy. Okay. And that clamp just comes off. So to put the new clamp back on, right, we are putting it on like so with this pointing up. So what we want to do, what I think is best, just release it here. I would just take this screw out with the nut as well on the other side. It just makes it easier to get the clamp over the pole because it is a pretty snug fit. Do not untwist this too much. If you do untwist that too much, it will come out of there and these parts will come apart. You have to put that together again. So the easiest way to put the new clamp onto the pole is line up where it comes together on the new clamp. To this little notch here on the pole come over the front of it and towards the back okay i suggest just giving this just a little bit of there and then just take your screw put it on this side take your nut put it back over here hold this side with your thumb take your allen's wrench and just tighten that up right there. And you're just going to go through your whole entire pole and do all of that. You want to tighten it to be tight, but once it's pretty snug, I'd call it there. I'd also retighten these again throughout the time that you do have the pole. I'd always kind of check these, uh, especially in the busy season, at least every month, a couple months. Really takes no time at all. And then from there, we have the pole all done as far as the new clamps. So we're just gonna put the pole back together. Okay, so what you can see here is compared to the old clamps, you have a lot more room here to close this. So I would just start from the bottom and just start twisting them until they're good. 
as far as being tight and just go up the whole entire pole, get them all tight so the pole doesn't move, um, twist or move down when you put force down like that. So with that, what I did there, you got a little bit of rotation, so we tighten it. Just a few clicks more, and boom, it's good to go. Okay, so when we move, when we open it up, we can still move the pole good, right? And we can open this up fully, and it's all good. So we'll just go all the way up the pole, and just tighten all those to get those good. And you're gonna to want to tighten this again on the job. You're gonna find things will loosen up. Sometimes loosen, things loosen up in the sun and stuff like that. So you're gonna to want to tighten these up off and on again and again. So, um, so again, that's it as far as replacing the clamps on your zero water-fed pole. If you have any questions, comment below, and I help you to the best of my abilities. I hope this video helps you, and we'll see you soon.